That to me, uh, you may be able to come up with a better example, but that explains all of these others. Because what it shows is that whenever there is any kind of violence, any kind of uprising, any kind of the, the first instinct that the drive-by media has, and when I say drive-by media, may as well be selling it, saying a Democrat party, the first instinct they have is to try to find a way to link whoever committed the bad deed to the Republican Party or the so-called conservative movement. There were shoot-ups during the Obama administration. There were mass murders, and at no time did the drive-by media ever try to link any of it to Obama. And yet, people have forgotten. Was it inflammatory to say that Republicans were going to be responsible for millions of deaths if Obamacare was not passed into law? Anybody remember that? Because I sure as hell do, because I was fed up with it then. We are trying to oppose a government takeover of one of the great industries in America better than anywhere else in the world. We're trying to take a, to prevent a bunch of incompetence a bunch of government bureaucrats and left-wing <laughs> from taking over the American health care system. Meanwhile, Obama is lying to everybody about oppose it on substantive grounds, and the Democrats and the media start running around talking about how the Republicans are going to be responsible for the deaths of millions of people. You Until this politicization of everything stops. In other words, you have some guy who's been mentally ill for 10, 15 years, <clears throat> all of a sudden it's the, it's the fault of a political party or it's the fault of a president. And, and it's so predictable because they hate the president. They'll do anything they can to get rid of him. They've spent two years trying to get rid of him. They failed to get rid of him. They're fit to be tied over their failure. They're ratcheting up this, this anger. And it's, it, we're getting so far away from the notion that whoever did it is the person that did it. We're getting to the point where in this country, because we politicize everything, nobody's responsible for what they do. Whatever anybody does, it's because of the politics of the Republican Party or the conservative movement. As far as the drive-by media is concerned, it's not because somebody is mentally ill, disturbed, who knows what's been going on in their lives. The media doesn't care about that, except to the extent they can link it to Trump. Well, I, f I, for one, am, am fed up with it. The weather. We can't even get away from it from the weather, Republicans or Trump, because we don't sign on to this asinine man-made global warming theory. So we anti-black, anti-minority, what have you. Because they politicize. If I have gotten to the point, I can't tune it out. It is my job, man, worried how the midterms are going. If you're trying to ratchet these two things up, no, you have to take these two sad, unfortunate events and tell you right now. I mean, I, 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 I know, do not know it from uh, exact hands-on knowledge. I'm just telling you, my gut is that there are millions of Americans, once this stuff starts, they tune it out. They're fed up with being blamed. They're fed up with the people they love and support being blamed. Just tune it out. Supported. You had to support those. You had to support Black Lives Matter. They weren't condemned and literally tear up a town on a lie. They create a... Brown, whatever his first name was, who had held up a convenience store and so on. It, 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 gets, it gets to the point that if, if the media wonders why they're in such ill disrepute right now, it's because of this. Nobody believes what you say. Nobody trusts what you're saying. It's so obviously politically charged. It's so obvious that your, your passion about this is what you can do with it politically. The guy that shot up the synagogue in Pittsburgh, Squirrel Hill section of Pittsburgh, I know this place well. I live there. Not Squirrel Hill, but I know where it is. The guy that shot this place up hated Donald Trump. Donald Trump was too big a Jewish supporter. His daughter converted to Judaism before marrying Kushner. He moved the American embassy to Jerusalem. This guy thinks Trump is part of a sellout to worldwide Jewish 
people, and yet the media is blaming Trump. They're saying, well, now that that Ivanka and all that, that's that that that's just a disguise, you know. That that that, that they just did that to cover up Trump's real anti-Semitism. Donald Trump's maybe one of the best friends Israel and Israeli Jews have had in the in the Oval Office, and I don't know how long. Remember the uh, case union leaders and maybe instructors and teachers they had in school were not even legitimate acts of charity or compassion to mask and cover up their racism and bigotry of Americans in I don't know how many ways starting with opposition to Obamacare probably starting before that Americans are going to be responsible for the deaths of millions around the world because we won't sign on to the concept of man-made climate change. It's gotten so extreme, it's gotten so off the charts. The fact of the matter is, the base of the Democrat Party, you'd be hard-pressed to find more virulent anti-Semites than in the Democrats' base. Code Pink, Occupy anti-Semites. Code Pink even went so far as to try to help Iran smuggle guns. Code Pink's, Code Pink simply hates America. And whatever America does, if it has an ally that aligns with, with Israel, Code Pink is going to oppose it. Anti-Semitic, anti-Israel, Code Pink, Black Lives Matter, Occupy Wall Street, Antifa. That's the Democrat voter base.